Welcome to this one. Me, me, me. Who did this one? Me, me, me. Who did this one? Welcome to this one video. Thank you so much for joining this one video. We are going to talk about a lot of cool things, a lot of interesting things, which is which is considered the one of the coolest topic when it comes to money. Me, peace, me, peace, and blessings be upon you and your loved ones. That being said, welcome to this one video. So in this one video, I've got like two topics in for you for today. One topic is seven highly effective ways to convert low ticket clients to high ticket. clients money strategies for introvert entrepreneurs and the next topic that i have to record which you need to be watching is going to be the next part of this one video is going to be nine steps to convert your low ticket client to high ticket client again so these are the ways to do that that will be the steps to do that and i also started doing this you know what inspires me most creating these videos for you is uh, when i want to start making money i have no ways to make money And what makes what inspired, what is creatively inspired, is like okay, how can I convert? How I Fuzzle can convert the low ticket clients that Fuzzle is having to high ticket clients. So from last one week, I've been working on the strategies. And I was like, great, it has helped me. It is going to help you as well. Why not share with you in the form of video? See, I care so much about you. I care all about. It's like it just has to benefit you. That's like the whole intention, the sole goal. By the way, I've got like coffee with me, so you need to allow me to drink this coffee. A gift by my Rakesh sister. She is one of the coolest people I have ever come across. So, if you are watching this, thank you so much. See. That being said, we'll come to this one video. So, I'm going to skip it across the video so that I, this doesn't get cold. And I don't. I started to have any fun. I'm going to be like in the video. Anyway, so what are the ways to do convert a low ticket client to high ticket clients? Now, now let's assume getting the most serious stuff. It's you. You already have. Clients paying you money, just like I have clients who are paying me money. Now you are not coaching them, but on the more on the level of consulting, you are meeting them once a week over a period of time. This that's the table calls that I have. You are meeting them once a week, and they are paying you. Your, they are paying you a certain amount X Y Z on a monthly basis for four sessions or for five sessions. Like right? on a month, like whatever that is, four sessions, four calls or five calls. Now you are helping them, but somehow you feel you need to be making more money because you have bills to pay. I have bills to pay. I want that. That has like when you can pay bills, you have stress. You've got like slightly lower stress, and with that you can function even better. For a point B, so you have to make money. Point, but that's one point number one. Point number two is you kind of feel that they are not taking enough actions because they are already paying you money, but then they are not taking for granted. Now this, what this tree is going to do is when you start taking this to next level, the same existing client, for example, they are paying you three thousand a month. Now you are going to ask them to pay eight thousand rupees a month, ten thousand rupees a month, something beyond ten thousand. What that is going to do is that is going to filter out people one because not everybody is going to afford that. Based on your skills, experience, you are going to have a big good rapport. But then now you are taking it to a different level. Now instead of three people paying you, instead of three people paying you three thousand rupees, it is going to be nine 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 thousand rupees. You are asking one person to pay more than ten thousand rupees. So instead of doing three calls. Three for the two. Instead of doing twelve calls a month, bad with that. Anyway, if you three people paying you, three people again, you do the math. Again, you do the math. Like see, I'm learning math myself. Anyway, you do the math. So you have now one person paying you ten thousand rupees. So you just do ten four sessions here, or you do twelve sessions. What do you want to pick? Now, point being, there are a lot of points to be covered. We are already fourth minute here, and my coffee is here, and we've got like nine seven points to cover. Okay, get set go. So that's the context set over there. Those are the people. Now you want to kind of take it to a different level. Now, point number one: How do you do it when you're talking to them? You have already made a case. I since we've been we've been having like two thousand calls a month now. I'm going to take it to a different level. How are you going to do it? Point number one is set how many first and foremost. You have to be very clear when you're doing the sales pitch. Set how many calls you are doing going to do. Now this is your one-to-one session I'm talking about. It can also be group calls, three members, four members, not beyond four members. I wouldn't go even beyond three members. So that's like the rule for me. It's like more than three is crowded. Like it's like I have they have had not experienced anyway. So it's like more on the lines of conversation driven, but proper high ticket club. Point number one. Set how many sessions you are going to talk. So you have to be clear with yourself. We are going to do four sessions. If we have like five weeks in this month, we are going to do five sessions. 
or you can just stick with four sessions additional additional day of a week you are going to charge them more money or is it that we have five weeks five days a month what i'm going to do is you just pay for four i'm going to cover four cover cover it for the fifth one so that we can kind of convince them that convince them in that way point number one set how many sessions you are going to take point number two point number two is will they get the recording the answer has to be yes somehow you record the sessions and give them the recording you put it on teachable you put it on youtube and list you give it on drive whatever that is but give them that video so that now that's these are the things are going to benefit them on a different level they are safe they are going to pay for meeting you on a weekly basis for 5 times month okay ideally four times a month cool this one is a bonus one four times they are paying 10000 rupees for that four hours that's all everything else that we are talking about is going to go as a bonus to them with that fee what they are going to do is they are going to say okay this guy is not just charging me money for need this this person is going to give me so many things this works like bonuses if you know the bonus bundle psychology this is going to be easy for you will they be getting a recording yes they are going to get the recording and somehow push us like it so that they can rewatch it again and since this is going to be tactical calls this is going to be upgraded enhanced version of calls give them the recording so that they can rewatch it if they have to watch it they don't have to come and ask you they can rewatch it again automation scale point number 3 is give them day to day game plan okay give them day to day game plan game plan what do i mean by game plan is like tell them today what you have to do tomorrow what you have to do third day what you have to do seventh day what you have to do like until we meet next time these are the seven days you need to be doing if you even fail a single day the momentum is going to break no matter what happens you shouldn't break the momentum if for example you break the momentum the next day you need to be doing twice the hard work that you have to do because now you already have something to do here it's kind of miss this day and you need to do two things which is at the end of the day you need to be doing three things so what this is going to do this is going to stand them and scale them off that way they are going to make in the momentum hmm? if you are going to if you have a habit of working on printing this day if you miss one day the next day the baby minimum is 20 minutes you need to be working at 40 minutes so that you can just compensate for this if you miss 3 days you need to be working 1 hour you need to compensate for 3 days it's like block compensation okay coffee break no now since we kind of moved all the way from consultation to coaching over here fourth point is going to be very important extremely important for me whenever i do this and this is something that i'm fascinated about all the time in house action definition of this in house cat app definition in house actually something when they are talking to you having a conversation with you when you are coaching them tell them immediately to do something the thing that i have done i have done a lot of things with people and i have had coached them in so many different ways and i love this this one part fourth part if you can just take this fourth part very seriously with no matter what industry you are in you are going to go to successes to a different level people are going to resonate with you on different level in house action i'll tell you people want to start recording podcasts for example what i did in one of the sessions for women for women this minute what i did all want to record podcast but then no one is doing it. what i said okay i kind of given them the context of it what to do the film of it and i gave them like 10 minutes of duration and they were like around 60 people inside that group more than 40 people recorded and launched the their podcast launched literally 42 to 43 people in that one session more than 80% of conversion rate we had just because it was in house action in house you are making them do stuff you set the framework of it you ask them to do things you want to record them you go go do the record you want them to for example you, you want them to do cardio and get fit like lose weight get at all of that you ask them okay now i am going to stay here what you can do either you can keep the video on or you can keep the video closed but i want you to be doing this workout in next 10 minutes within the call you can keep the video on you can keep the video off but then i'm going to see you in 10 minutes you have to do this and we are going to meet in 10 minutes it's up to you so you can make them do things immediately this is the tone of the way you do things and eventually you want to anyway you want to do these things in your low ticket now you are doing them kind of converting them they making them do stuff they are always like you do this guy sees about it fifth one is again one of the coolest thing that you can do review things reviewing things 
now you have already started four 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 Now, when you kind of bring in these two angles to something, it's going to be very effective. You will be able to learn about them, and they will be able to learn about themselves. So now you are just you are helping them to help themselves. You just you just show them where it's like, see, this is why it worked for you. You should be doing more of it. This is why it did not work for you. This is your job. You're kind of supposed to not do these things. Like, you can show them the faces, and you are going to have case study. The next time when you're coaching someone, when you get this tool, it's like, okay, see, I was coaching that member, and that that did not work for you, and I. Probably two percent. I kind of know that he's not going to work for you. Don't do that mistake. And this has worked for me. This has worked for that. So even if you don't have clients, even that's the second client that you're talking to, you can just take the case study of that one person. It will be very effective. See, I'm giving you so many cool tactical part of it. You just go make money. Money solves a lot of problems. Twenty sixth of May, twenty twenty two is when I'm recording. And ask me what happened. To ask that you need to be a part of the academy of art science. So that there's a link down there. So that you click that, click that, get inside the community. There's like Q and A session that we do on a weekly basis. Watch this. Come and ask me questions. I can tell you what happened. Everything is usual, right? So I remember what happened. No, we've got more two points. Sixth one, we all know we have been into corporate world, we've been into business world, we've been into education system. So we know we need to be having monthly goals and weekly goals. Once you, once when you, when you're, when you're selling people your high ticket programs at ten thousand rupees, that's ten thousand plus two thousand rupees GST plus expenses, uh, fees charges two percent, eighteen plus two percent, so that's like twelve thousand. They're going to be twelve thousand rupees. Now when you're doing the thing, when they invest in twelve thousand, they need to be doing what, what, what is going to be monthly goals. Now they might not probably know for themselves. You need to be setting. If they know that's great, but you need to be setting. This is what we can achieve by the end of this week. This is what we can achieve by the end of this month. So when you coach in that direction, so they know exactly what they're getting. I'm going to lose weight, not get abs in this month. Mm-hmm. What's the weight? What's 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 the weight like? For example, that person will say it is excuse. He or she will go over that. I'm going to help you bring your weight three kgs down. Eighty-six, eighty-three. You're not going to you're not going to even see abs. Like you, we need to work four months, six months together to see an abs. But then for now, I'm going to help you reduce three days, three days. Then when you stay there, okay, three days, great. Weekly goal. What's the weekly goal? So now three days has to be divided into four categories. Like week one, what I'm going to see. Week two, what I'm going to see. Week three, what I'm going to see. Week four, what I'm going to see. So that when we can we can predict all these things, that becomes easier for me. Like that's achievable. That's that's when we go all the way back to point number three, the day-to-day game plan. So once we can have monthly goals and weekly goals, then we can create daily day-to-day game plan. So that when we want to do this, is when we are going to get that. Do and get. Do and get. Oh, interesting. Do and get. D and G method. Do this, get that. Fazal Baba, P ke bol do na. Jaldi se, I'm gonna have to go and collect six and last one point is dribbling. Okay, yes. Seventh point, the aiming thing. Now, one of the coolest way of converting your low ticket into high ticket is the aim thing. You might probably know if you're the founder of the Academy of Finance. This aim thing is something called accountability plus momentum. Hold them accountable to what they have to, what they have already committed. Because the only reason they're working with you is not because you're doing something different. One part of it, you're doing something different, and you, you're bringing the people. That's one part of the game. But then, what you're teaching them is already existing in the world. It's already existing in blogs and YouTube and the latest to be get. You're like you are nobody. But then, it resonates with you on some level, and they know they trust you that you're going to get the results. So hold them accountable for what they've already committed. Point number one. Point number two is when you're holding them accountable, they are building their momentum. Like okay, day one done, day two done, day three done, day four done, day five. Ask them to share those things. With you. Like how do you look day one? How do you look? Like even if you don't share, how do you look? What did you do today? Okay. 
day one this work done so whatever game plan you gave on a day to day basis and the day one this done day two this helps them to build momentum and hold you will be able to hold them accountable for example they miss on day 5 and then miss on day 6 okay you can also like i did not see your message the other day you have to be very honest and blunt with your coaching skills over here because that's going to play a huge high ticket right? they are paying you money so you'll be taking care of that that brings us to the conclusion of this cool video so you just watch this to get some reason hmm? so convert all of your low ticket clients to high ticket clients again the 30% conversion rate but you are going to get good amount of money in a very short period of time now when you apply this it will be very effective for you this is going to be effective for me because it's already started to be effective i'll tell you Many people started video watching the video. You are watching, so this is for you. I'll tell you. This on the this side of the page, this side, this side is my sales page for enhanced course. You can take a screenshot of it. Cool. So this part of it is. The the same speech that I did on last year, I can consistently do it over a period of time. That I want to convert all my YouTube videos to high ticket videos, and that was the whole script that I did for like two minutes, and then I created content out of it. See, this is what we just spoke. This is what we're going to speak in the next video. This was relatively a long, longer video compared to that. But then you know, high ticket, right? You need to be investing on time so that you can invest money and then get high ROI. Sorry. Cool. We are wrapping up this video. One coffee is going to be continued next video. The next video I am going to record is you have to watch now. Huh? Nine steps to convert your low ticket client to a high ticket client. That's going to be steps. Again, there are similar points, but then these are more crisp. Yeah, it is going to be beneficial for you instead of having like twenty five points in one video. I can say maybe do seven plus nine. Seven here, nine there. So I am going to see you. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you today. Thanks so much. Maybe you're listening to this from you and your loved ones. Thanks so much.